everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom. I wanna wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, and I also wanna help you out with your Christmas list for the dog lover in your life. All of the products that you see right here are all made in the USA, and they also all universally accept the code Maligator Mom, which makes it very easy for you to remember when you're checking out. So number one is MunsterMilling.com. Now this is the food that I feed my personal dogs. This is an all stages food, which means that even Crisis as a puppy has been on this food since she was eight weeks old. This is a holistic, fully customizable dog food. I highly recommend it. Number two is going to be robertcabral.com. A subscription to his website would make a fantastic gift. I'm someone who consumes a lot of online dog training content and his is truly second to none. Make sure you check it out. Another question I get asked all the time is what kennels do I use? For my personal dogs, it's a no brainer. This is gonna be a gunner kennel. All of my dogs have gunner kennels. I purchased these gunners because not only are they made here in the USA, in fact, right here in Nashville where I live, but they are also the first kennel to ever receive a five-star crash test rating. And last but not least are the collars that my personal dogs wear. These are available from Tactipup.com. They are fully customizable with their name. You can get a handle on them and they have all metal hardware buckle systems with the Cobra buckle made right here in the USA. Definitely check these out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom. Today is Tuesday, December 21st, and I still have a whole lot to do to get me and my family ready for Christmas. So that means that I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me again today. Um, what we're actually doing as a surprise for my son is we're gonna go have uh, exhaust installed on his truck. That was something he wanted. And so this is actually the perfect opportunity, I think, to just kind of give you guys a little glimpse into what it's like to have four Malinois and how we go about incorporating them into our lives. And that does mean bringing them with us when and where we can. This just happens to be an instance that would be great for Crisis to get out and about with us today and run this errand. So we're gonna be bringing her and you guys along with us today. Stay tuned. Christmas memories. So while he's loading that, I just want to give you guys um, a little heads up. Now, we are going to be giving the Gunner Kennel away on Christmas Eve. That's going to be the giveaway, but I'm going to give you guys some clues, some hints, because of course we want to do a little scavenger hunt again. I think that's a lot of fun. And so in order to enter the giveaway on Christmas Eve for the Gunner Kennel, you are going to have to answer a few questions about the videos starting today leading up until Christmas Eve. So I'm going to be leaving some um, hints along the way. I want you guys to watch these videos very carefully because there's going to be questions that you must know the answer to in order to enter the giveaway. So pay close attention and the next several videos and then we'll have a lot of fun on Christmas Eve and give away that gunner kennel um, to you and your pet. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and get off to uh, the shop and get this intake or exhaust or whatever the hell it is installed in my son's truck for Christmas and let's have some fun. So as you can see, Crisis is still a bit small for her gunner kennel and so um, for the meantime, she actually travels in her regular kennel that we have her in inside the house. And um, I still recommend, even if you cannot get your dog into a gunner kennel right now, some kennel, some type of device, some type of restraint is better than none. So, um, you know, make sure our dogs are safe if we're gonna take them with us. There's been a slight change in plans. Um, Crisis is now out of her crate because she literally puked a gallon of puke in her crate and we are unprepared. We did not have the sufficient things to clean it up or her. And so now I have puke splatter on me and I'm trying to clean her off as best I can. And so we are gonna have to uh, make a beeline for home, get her cleaned up and then carry on with the rest of our day. But these things happen with puppies, so she's not feeling too hot right at the moment. But uh, we'll get her home, we'll get her, get her freshened up, 
taken care of and let a dog be a dog oh would you stop So we're actually um, here at the pet spa self-wash because this was actually just on the way home. So we figured it'd be a great opportunity to just continue her outing a little bit, introduce her to this self-wash. It's something that we've not ever done with her before. And so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. So we are all clean. Crisis did pretty good. She did not super tolerate the uh, dryer. She was a good sport, but I decided it was just a little too much stress. Not worth it. Brand new environment. I didn't want to overdo it with her. So we turned the dryer off, did the did the towel dry. And so she's, she's a little damp, but um, look, she's now feeling better. Not covered in her own puke now. So that's a plus. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get her home and uh, take all the other dogs out. Oh, hey, you dropped this. I did drop this. Thanks, honey. I dropped it. Gosh, there we go. Thanks, honey. All right, guys, so we made it home. Uh, I have got a really nasty crate to go clean out, and then I've got to swap my dogs out here, get everybody their potty break, get everybody some lunch. I've got Christmas presents to wrap, um, all kinds of things to do today, so uh, if nothing else, I feel like this video kind of just serves as a reminder that you just got to go with the flow sometimes. When you're managing multiple dogs, shit happens, you know, like this was not how we anticipated our day unfolding. Um, we didn't get to go do the things we wanted to do with Crisis downtown because she was literally covered in puke. Um, and it just, it happens sometimes. And because this is literally a video of a vlog where it's being filmed on the day of, like I don't have time to go polish this out or take her a bath and get her back out and try again. Like I just have to post this. This is what happened today. This is the honesty of what occurred today. So um, anyway, so you guys don't forget, stay tuned um, and think about some of the things that you saw in today's video because there will be questions for the Gunner Kennel giveaway that will relate to things that happened in today's video. So make sure that you paid close attention and I'll see you guys tomorrow.